part two. Oscar's going to bring a bottle in here really loud, so uh, I'm going to have to get a little bit louder if he does that. I always jump through these um, sand parts. This is for those who didn't catch the first part of it. It's Mega Man and Bass, and this is Ground Man stage. And I'm trying not to get hit by this stupid metal or this other thing here. Let's go ahead and save. We're gonna, we knocked out three of the Robot Masters the first time around, and now we're going to try to maybe knock out another three. I don't know how well that's going to go. Uh, I'd like to knock them all out in one whack, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, and down. I don't need it that bad. Oscar! Oscar! Hey! You can about fall all the way down through here and it would be okay. I don't think there's a whole lot of things that would really hurt you really bad. You might miss some power-ups, but yeah, you gotta jump while you're in the while you're in the um you gotta jump while you're in the uh, while you're in the sand because if you don't jump while you're in the sand, you'll die. You know what? I'm just gonna take the hit and go on. I don't really care. I never figured out what to do with this thing. Other than to crawl up on a ladder and then just try to get down here before he came out of that hole again. Same thing here. See, now that refilled everything. Because of the energy balancer. Okay. I think we know how to get to this one. So we're going to go down, Oscar, Oscar, Here, Oscar. stop that. All right, guys, we may have to just take a hit right here. Well, we can get our life back right through there if we play our cards right. But then we gotta figure out how to get around this dude. And I think we just figured out how. Man, is that the end of the stage? No, I don't think it is. It might be. No. Oh no, this is the um this is the mini boss I fought forever in a day trying to kill that one time. You can only hit him in the head. And he takes a lot of shots. Even if you have a charged up Mega Buster shot, it still takes a while. may take a couple minutes guys this thing's a real pain in the butt I do not lie to you when I say that ow he hit me with his tail right in the face I don't think you can hit him in the tail I think I tried once and it didn't quite work totally missed right there and uh, You don't want to take too much damage against this thing because there's still quite a bit of a stage left to go and and if you get hit now, uh, that guy him a couple good times right there. I don't know where he's going.
I was about to say, I think I can plunk him one time right there. Sorry about all the saving, but he takes a lot of damage. Ow! I think you have to take those two out with um, Buster Shots. I don't think you can hit him up there either. I think he does that a couple more times from where he's almost dead. I think he does that. Um, you'll find that's a that's a normal thing too that they don't give um, many bosses on here. They don't give them they don't give them life bars, and that really irritates me because it's like how do I know how close this thing is to dying? And actually, it kind of infuriated me even a little bit more where um, I fought uh, some of the end bosses and for some reason they didn't have life bars either. Man, this thing's taking forever. And he's finally dead, thank goodness. See, he takes a lot of damage. Because most of those were, bu were buster shots. Not all of them, but most of them. And you want to follow that guy over a little bit because, like I said, the enemies respond. Watch this floor. I think I got him. Nope, I didn't get him. Technically, I got him. But, technically, I didn't get him. That'd be the only bad thing is if I had the um, the buster charging automatically, it would be charging like every couple of minutes. And as we all know, that's not a real good thing. See these fall, and uh, uh, I hope he's not there. He probably is. Nope, he's not there. I missed some screws, but that's okay. <laughs> I got some screws loose. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, let's see what was down here. I don't think there's anything down here worth collecting. Uh, well, there's a, there's a treasure chest that's on crack. What's behind this? A CD. Wow. A CD and a 1-Up that I don't need to take damage for. Okay, now this got me the first time. <laughs> this room got me the first time I, I played. All of these rooms got me the first time I played. Now, there's, there's white little things in the room and there's a, per, there's a pink one. Now you have to take the pink one out to open the door. The other ones are more of a puzzle. You have to take them out, but as you take them out, those spikes come up. So you have to be very, very careful about what you do. 
I think I was supposed to take him out and then jump up there whenever he was gone. Okay. That's how you do it. Unless you want to get anything else. Now this one's a little bit different. And you keep moving. Gosh. Just watch these things right here. They're just, they're just, they just come up out of there. They come up out of there and I forgot they take out portions of the freaking ground too. They only take out a lot of ground if you're on chunks of ground. Okay. Now you're going to fight this guy with a remote mine. I have to remember how to fight him. Oh, I forgot about that, that big hand, hand screwdriver thing. You can kind of see where he's at. It doesn't help though. Not really. And it's in. You big stupid freak. You can try to hit him. If you can't hit him. Um, damn, that's, that's, that's a pretty bad thing. If he turns into his little tank form, you want to... Um, you want to um, shoot it at him and hook it onto him. Or you can bust it into the wall like that. I like to put it on when he's in his tank form and then just blow it up on him. You gotta, you gotta watch him though, cause he. Oh crap! Boy, I really missed that. That's another thing when you shoot this thing, you gotta watch where it goes. about dead. Ah, gosh. Okay. All right. I've had enough of that now. Tag that back foot, boy. Tag that back foot. The very back of the foot. I might have to move the screen just a little bit over. I can't see the timer. You get the spread drill. I have to be able to see the timer, guys. If I can't see the timer... I don't know where we're at. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Now, that drill, it'll split up into different parts. Let's see if there's anything new at the shop. I don't think there is. No, there's nothing yet. Um. No.
the thing is, I'm gonna try to make this playthrough a little bit easier for myself because I'm gonna be able to buy stuff that I didn't have the first time. Um, we're gonna go fight Tengu Man. Now, if Tengu Man and, and uh, Astro Man look familiar, it's because they're both off of number eight. They're the only two Robot Masters on this one that are not new. And they still fight the same way. Well, that's kind of a lie. Astro Man's kind of harder and he fights a little different. I forgot this stage is a moving stage. And I shot that stupid thing and it just did not work. You have to shoot him down, otherwise you can't jump until you get rid of him. Crap. <laughs> well, that didn't work, guys. I tried to hit about three or four buttons at one time and it didn't quite work. So we'll just, uh, See, that's what happens when you make a save spot and you're not real sure what you're doing. Well, I'd say you're not real sure what you're doing, but you've made a mistake. Okay. Let's not do that again. sure where that was. It's on over. Okay. Okay, now let's save it. All right. pop the balloons with your shots or you can ride them on up but there's spikes up there see see that wonderful spike to the forehead I just took um I kind of forgot which way to go up here <laughs> that's not something you want to hear is it no probably not and say, hey, I got up here, but I forgot which way to go. Oh, there ain't nothing up here but a CD anyway. Oh, crap. Well, if I don't feel just stupid. Okay! Spikes are us! How can we help you today? One kill coming right up! Let me get that for you, sir. I'll even take it out to your car for you. Full service, buddy. Full service. <laughs> okay, so there's a platform I can land on. Okay. There was an extra life. Did you guys see that? Too bad I couldn't collect on it. 
Well, I probably could have had it done a little bit differently, but you know. It's like, I'm just trying to get through, people. I'm not really trying to do anything real fancy or nothing. Well. Shoot the thing in the head. Oh, gosh. There you go. You want to make sure you shoot those dragons in the head. In the head. Only get that CD if you're sure that you can actually destroy the dragon on the way back out. The first time I tried to do that, I miserably failed. Now, I'm going to warn y'all about something. Look over on that. You see that? that platform that we need to jump on over there there's a crack right there see there's that try not to shoot that if you can help it don't shoot the crack in the pipe boy that didn't sound good did it can we try that again don't shoot the weak part of the pipe because I don't know how to get back over there if you do Wow, those shots are just going right through his back and to the outside. See, that's what you want to do. Because if that thing starts doing that blowing thing on there, and there's more of them that are like that. There's a lot. See, there's one right here that's like that. And you don't want to... <clears throat> there's one too. Now, if you want to, you can try to stand here and get extra life and stuff, but, uh, you know. Now, you, you really got to watch these things right here because they are just, uh, Now, you can pretty much kind of take him out with this and that. Goodness gracious. Another one in the pipe that uh, you don't want to shoot and there's another one and I forgot there was enemies all up through there oh gosh I didn't want to shoot that one but I did anyway but I shot it anyway Wow 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 oh gosh get off of me <laughs> Give me a fruit loop. Now you can still make it over here. It just it's just a little bit harder to do, that's all. Okay, so I want to take out him but as well I would like to take out this there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Whoops, Tengu man, you're gonna kill him with this drill. When you shoot the drill, um, it'll go out in a big drill and then it'll split into smaller drills if you hit the button. We're interested in hitting him with the big drill. We wanna hit him with the big drill. So what we wanna do is we wanna wait until he's um, where he's like coming down or so. 
and then just whacking him with that big drill. I know how funny that sounds, guys, but that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, as long as you have the drill, he is uh, not very much a problem. Oh, he about tried to put me off with the platform. You still got to watch out for attacks, but not as many. So there goes Tengu, man. He's dead. Who's next? Magic Man. Use the blade. Hit him with the swipe itself, not the projectile. It's kind of hard to hit him with the swipe because he doesn't really... You can't hit him more than once with it. If you're up close, you'll swipe. If you're further away, you'll hit him with a blade. So that's the Tengu blade. We'll see if anything's new. Probably not yet. It'll probably have to be after Magic Man. I'm assuming that's what we'll have to do. We'll see, though. Um, yeah, there's nothing there right yet that we want. Okay. So... I'm going to go Magic Man stage. Magic Man. This stage reminds me of Clown Man's stage. It's a lot like Clown Man's stage. Even the enemies and things are a lot like Clown Man's stage. Yeah, you hear the train? Yeah, you have to do that again. So if you didn't like it the first time, guess what? And you've already played number eight and you didn't like it the first time, you gotta do it again anyway. So too bad. Too bad if you didn't like it. Cause it's a thing. It is a game. Oh gosh. How do I keep getting hit? Gosh, on oh mercy. Come on now. Okay, you have to land square on the green hat. You can't land on the blue part of this thing. Why did I hit that? I did not mean to hit that button. See, guys, that's the bad thing about me doing save states and stuff. It, I, you'd think it'd be kind of easy. It's not. I'm gonna grab that one up. And I'm gonna shoot y'all down. <laughs> so, uh, 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 uh. You can kiss my butt. You can get that CD if you really want to, but you don't have to. There are spikes there. You can actually just hang out right here for a minute and another train should come along. And there we go. And I hate this part. It's the mini boss from Clown Man Stage. He does a Bowser-esque uh, Mario Brothers 3 type deal. in the door. Now, now expect that guy to be coming back. By the way, on this game, it's kind of like some of the other ones. There are no E-tanks or weapon tanks. You have to basically go with skill and with the little power-ups that you have. With the few power-ups that you get. Okay, I don't know how I got hit right there. I'm not real sure how that happened. Oh, 
So a grenade that didn't hurt me before now all of a sudden takes takes life points and takes damage. You, you oh, you're gonna get it. And I'll get my life back somewhere else. Ain't got time for that crap. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not jumping down that platform, it's because those enemies will be right back there. And I really don't feel like fighting them. And I know what comes up right here, too. Oh my, good gosh on mercy. I may go over there and get that. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I got to do this very carefully because if I don't do this the right way, I'll have to end up fighting two enemies at least again. I forgot those little stupid things will steal screws from you. I forgot that's what they steal from you. They don't they don't steal life, they steal screws. Which is just as bad. Jump on this train. On the train, Yang. Just fall. Yeah, you're likely to get damaged when you go down through there, but it's a whole heck of a lot easier than just trying to figure out where to go. Now, the bell this time uh, changes the time that... Um, those, uh, okay, well, we don't need them anyway. They change when these, um, blocks turn around where the spikes are on them. And if I'm not mistaken, they might be one-hit kills. I'm not sure. Well, that was nice. Yeah, I kind of figured I was going to get hit right there. for your shenanigans and tomfoolery. You hear me? I have had enough. I want no more. Boy, that scares me. An empty room with nothing in it. Oh. Oh, okay. That's why that scares me. <laughs> um... You need the blade right here, and it's better to hit him up close with it. He has like this shaking moment. But then you've really got to watch out because he's really fast. Barely got him, but I got him. It still counts! On Astro Man, you just use the magic card. 
You placed your trap card face down. <laughs> okay. That leaves two Robot Masters. Plus, the Magic card gives you more of a chance of getting um, health and weapon replenishment back. But also, you can shoot it like up, straight forward, um, down. I think, wow, well, I think you can fire it down. I'm not sure. Now, see how all these go over there? That's what we're looking for. Okay, now they've got everything up here. Now, you might and you might not have everything that you need right at the moment. So, uh, shut up, Otto. Okay, there's an energy saver. With this item, you use less energy when firing weapons. will also solve global warming problem. You want this because this gives you more of an ability to fire your weapon, or your special weapons more times. So, say you only could shoot them eight times before. Now you can go like 16 times. There's a damage absorber. When you take damage, your weapon energy will refill itself a little bit. I see no use in that, really. There's the super armor, which the damage you take from enemies will be reduced substantially. You need this. And then there's the auto recover, which is nice, too. Your life energy will slowly refill itself. Less haste, more speed, as the saying goes. So, as long as you're standing still, it can be anywhere in the stage after you've cleared out the enemies, you'll get life back. So, you want that too. The high speed charge, the item will let you charge the Mega Buster faster. Um, we'll probably end up getting that. Beat is kind of a double edged sword, whether you want him or not. He'll bring a barrier for you and he'll absorb some of the damage you'll take. I didn't use him. I used, I think, uh, I used the auto recover, the super armor. The energy saver and I think the energy balancer. There's a CD counter that tells you how many CDs are left in any stage you're in with the transceiver. And the CD finder which will show you where any CDs might be buried so you can have Rush dig them up. Again, unless you're going for the CDs, I wouldn't get them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the super armor. And then um, we're gonna go into that other. Uh, we're gonna go into that stage again with the uh, with the crystals, and we're gonna use. We're gonna get some more of these because last time I didn't get half of these things that I'm buying right now, and my gameplay was a lot different. It was a lot harder than than it probably should have been. This one says it's the spread drill. Um, well, we'll pull the spread drill out. I don't know if we're gonna. Okay. You just hit the button, let it go over there, and then it'll do another button. Now, see, now it's another hundred. See, I didn't do this the first time, and boy, did I. Boy, did I pay for it. Tengu Blade. Um, okay. The only bad thing is it uses weapon energy. These do. These things do. So you want to make sure that you, um, you use as little weapon energy as you can. And how many is that? That's, uh. 225. Uh, what's the other one I can get? The magic card. Okay. Now this only leaves three. So the magic card, you'll aim upward and you'll shoot. It'll catch that one, then you'll shoot that one, and then catch that one. We might go ahead and get the remote mine. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to put myself through that yet or not. That was the last one I got and it was difficult to do. Because if you don't fire it a certain way, it doesn't go the way, it doesn't do what you want it to do. 
All right. Of course, you won't be able to buy everything that you wanted right off the bat, but um, we'll buy the few things that can help us. Um, we might need the energy saver next. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the energy saver next. Okay. Really, the one that you want next is the auto recover. And like I said, those give you 100 per pop. So you've got 125 right now. You do the other three, you'll have 300 plus the 125, which will make the 425. So you'll have to pick up some, but not very many. Um, I'm not so sure I had the high speed charge or not. I don't remember. It just lets you charge the Mega Buster faster, which I've never been a big fan of the Mega Buster. I'll let you know that right now. Never been a big fan of it. Do not like the weapon at all whatsoever. So, um, we're going to cut this one off right here. The next time we come back, we'll be doing part three. That'll be against Astro Man. And then that'll lead us into uh, Dynamo Man. Dynamo Man's probably the most annoying robot leader to fight. Um, uh, then there's, I think there's a four-stage fortress. Yeah, there's a four-stage fortress. You No, there's three stages in the fortress. In the first stage, you fight... Um, you fight the pod and the monkey, and now that I know how to defeat them, it's a little bit easier. On station two, you fight a tank, which now I know how to kill, and a ship, which is still tough. And then you'll fight King three times, but since I know how to kill him a little bit easier now, it won't be as bad. It'll still be bad, but not too bad. And on station three, um, I'm not going to tell you who you have to fight, but you have to fight all of the eight robot masters again and they're in a predetermined order so they'll show up um they'll show up as like cold man astro man dynamo man pirate man burner man magic man ground man and tengu man so you'll have to fight them all and you'll go through little portions of stage of, of the stage and then there'll be a boss and then you'll go through another portion and then there'll be another boss um so but i don't if you know how to kill them and you've killed them once, most of them aren't too bad. Except for, like I said, Burner Man and Dynamo Man are the two are really the two toughest. Astro Man fights a little bit differently, but once you get his attack pattern and stuff down, he's not really all that hard. His stage almost resembles his stage on number eight. Almost. It's not a hundred percent, but it almost does. Now these down here you have to equip you can only have one equipped at a time so if you have the damage protector on but you want to use the energy balancer you have to switch we'll keep the damage protector on most of the time though and i think really that you can change that between it and beat um because beat kind of does the same thing but we're going to save right there and when we come back, we'll go to fight Astro Man, we'll go to fight Tengu Man, and we'll see if we can get into the fortress, um, go through maybe a stage or two of that. So until next time, we will see you later.